welcome everybody how are you welcome welcome so we are here today on here to help you and I, I know you guys are wondering why Simone being so formal well yes why <laughs> and you got me repeating it too I don't understand what's going on I am being so formal because today our conversation is very formal okay. it's not very formal I'm just joking we're just we're we're, we're speaking about some very not formal at all. it's not Please. formal not. but we are speaking about some very um I guess you could call it a proud moment in African Canadian history today. Yes, yes. And we are going to be giving homage to a very wonderful, 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 great human being. example of a human being. Yes. That's what I think that's just how you have to call it. Correct. So today, I don't know if anyone has heard, but first, before I go any further, I need to stop. Don, my hostess. My hostess. Hostess. She called me a hostess. God, Chelsea. You know, please let her don't let her down for this one, okay? I look like a hostess. Me look like hostess to you. You know what happens? <laughs> this is what happens when I try to be formal. It doesn't work. I need to just learn to stay in my idiot self and be who I am instead oh, of trying to be God. all formal. Instead of be all formal. Chelsea agreed. Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea see? shaking her head. <laughs> Shout out to Chelsea. What up, Chelsea? <laughs> so my host, my co-host, the Don Dave Rankin. Welcome. Longside, longside the Donette, Simone Jennifer Smith. Thank you. Thank you. And today I have been advertising for the last few days, actually from like about think Saturday about our show today. We have a dual part show. I'm mm -hmm. very excited. For the first half, we're going to be talking about the Augustine experience, yes. which I will go into details about. Very true. And the second half, we're going to have another like pioneer, a playwright right here from Canada. Mm -hmm. His name is Carl Hutchinson. And he's going to be on the second half of our show. And he's going to be talking to us about his new play, Bullies. Hold on, because I will mess it up. I know me. <laughs> Bullies 2. Two. Thank you. Two. Thank you. <laughs> Bullies 2. So we're going to go into more detail about that, obviously, when he comes. And he'll be able to tell you more and share more about who he is. But he's been around for a while. So I'm sure a lot of people know Probably already yes. who he is. So Definitely. let's talk about the Augustine experience and Please. why I called it the Augustine experience. So we were invited by, and I have to give them... Um, I have to give them a lot of respect, and I wish I they had a clap. Up real nice, real. By the way, brothers and sisters, Brand E, and that's Strategic Marketing and Communication. They were the people who hosted and um, branded the, and the event. They branded the event. They they're the branders for Jean Augustine. Mm -hmm. So, they held her 80th birthday party this weekend at Woodbine Convention, Convention Center. That's right. It was on Sunday. It was a brunch and. I mean, everyone who is anyone was at this brunch in I, Toronto. In Toronto. Anyone. Like, I mean, we're talking about Premier Kath Ka Kathleen Wynne. Kathleen Wynne was there. Yes. Who spoke. Oh, yes. Um, yes. Mayor John Tory was Tory there. Tory was there. That's right. And he spoke. Yes. We're going to keep going with this list, everybody. Um, the butler. Hold on. We have... We we have pictures. We okay. Can, we're going to get into it. We're not going to get into that yet then. Yes. Let's just put it this way. You have to probably come back for the second segment to hear about <laughs> everybody else. I'm going to, I'm glad you stopped me because it's like, irks. let's wait. So let's talk about, I'll let you start, Dave. Let's talk about the Honorable Dr. Jean Augustine. Tell us about your Augustine experience. And there's a reason why we call this because she is an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I, what can I say? I mean, for those who don't know about Jean Augustine, um, five doctorates, over thirty at something. And hold awards. on, we're, we were just talking about this. When we say five doctorates, first of all, to get a doctorate, you're looking at past your master's program and an extra five years in school. Right. So to so for someone to have five honorary, honorary doctorates, right? <sighs> amazing, amazing. There we see the picture with her in the middle, of course, with um the butler. From the Fresh Prince. Chelsea put up. See, sometimes see, this is what, Chelsea? It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Don't we worry love about our it. producer because <laughs> she is awesome. But sometimes, you know, we love you, Chelsea. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yes, go on with your yeah, experience. Yeah, so she's very esteemed. I mean, five doctorates, um, over oh, 30 odd something awards. I have her awards. Right? I'm going to go through her, a list her of titles. her awards. Yes. I mean, she's the reason why. Um, there is black. History Month here. here in Canada. That's right. That's right. And you know what? Again, and I'm sorry, I'm going to be honest. I'm on a learning experience. I didn't know that again. And mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed. Again, I have no ego when it comes to knowledge. 
teach me. For real. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. I don't business. I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, I knew that. No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea that she was the one who did it. I've right. learned this in the last, like, couple weeks. 1995. It's right? crazy. So it's not that long ago. I mean. Not, not only 1995. 1995 is when it was passed. And unanimously. So not only, of course, people who look like us were in, of course, the house that wanted this to go through, but also all her partners, those who opposed her, of course, of other legislative, but unanimously passed it right so you can tell the enormous amount of respect yes right and someone who's championed not only just of course black history month but now the title that she holds now that she's a commissioner of fairness let me go through some of these titles i just want to go through some of the awards and titles and this is just some of them and i'm telling you what what empowers me hearing this is that this is a african woman That's right. a self-identified yes. strong and proud yes. african woman who has come here and i hear some of the excuses that our younger generations the millennials calling you guys out yeah chelsea including you back there um and not this is not everybody but the excuses that we make sometimes the things we get upset about right to hear the stories that this woman went through i mean when these people were when racism was real here in Canada, right. it wasn't sugar-coated. No. When they said, we're not renting to you because you're black. Yes. Yeah, that's it. You're not getting... The you're black. Exactly. Go away. Like, it was... <laughs> <laughs> it was very, like... And I mean, she... she there, was, there was a story that she shared. Um, if anyone gets a chance, please do go on YouTube. Just put in Dr. Jean, Dr. Jean Augustine. She shares certain stories about times where, like, she would end up because, again, people don't understand that she was the secretary to the prime minister to Trudeau, not to Trudeau, to um, Christian, yeah, right? Parliamentary secretary, parliamentary the secretary, second so, highest position s- in the nation. Second, do you hear this? Second, second highest, highest position. position. This is an African, an African woman, woman, yes, coming from Grenada, yes, land of the nutmeg, right? Spice and everything nice. All right. See it there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, like she, she, she mentioned in, in a couple of her videos that there were times where she would go to the meetings, meetings. That's right. And they would try to treat her like like the help. Yes. And they'd sit her in the like the back until they found out who she was, and then she's like, and then of course comes the apologies. Right. Now they're sorry, but it's to see. And the fact that she handled all of that with such grace, she was so emotionally intelligent through all of the bullshit. Yeah. I appreciate and respect right. a woman who's able to face that. Mm-hmm. And we hear complaining about some minor stuff. Well, you know, um, as you mentioned, of course, when people, of course, our viewers and those, of course, who haven't heard of her, who are interested, and I'm just YouTubing her, she mentions this word, vigilance. It's very often that yes. we have to be vigilant, right? And of course, see the test and see everything through to its fruition. That's right. Because of course, she just turned eighty, and you can imagine, of course, oh. the foothills. You know, the, excuse me, the pot, the potholes in the road. That and she, she looked go good. Crossed, right? So by me, eighty, a dance. Lord Jesus, sorry, continue. She looked good on Sunday, I'm sorry. For 80 years old, when I looked at her, I'm like, you are not 80. Well, you know, I mean, when you take care of yourself, right, and more importantly, you know what, like, when just looking at her, right, there's a calming presence of her. There's a warm and a strong spirit about her, yes? Yeah, Right, but yeah. also, she had a, she has a wonderful support system. Yes, she does. Right, of course. She has a lot of people who love her. Yes. I saw there was a lot of love in there. Right, her two daughters, of course, right? You know, not to mention, of course, you know, her grandchildren, you know, and of course, like, her colleagues. Yes. Her friends, right? And, of course, the rest of her family, who, who, you can see when someone who's very much supported, right, how the aging, the aging is a lot different. Wow. I'm just, I'm in, I'm in amazement, I have to say, like... The Augustine experience. Um, we're going to talk more about it, of course. But I was, we got, we got, like, I got caught up. Sorry. I got caught up <laughs> in the women empowerment and stuff. So <laughs> let me talk about some of her awards. So this young lady, and I'm going to call her young lady. Okay. Um, Commander of the Order of the British Empire. I, I remember. I like that title. <laughs> we love that title. Commander of the British Empire. <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> But when a, an African woman holds the title of commission, was a commissioner or commander? 
Commander, Commander, Commander of the Order. Of, yes, of the British Empire. Let me tell you something. Those are some big titles, boy. Let I remember Dave was Dave read that. It was like that was it. He was stuck. That's <laughs> it. Yes. Let me tell you something. Especially you know, we know of course you know some of our history. You know, and especially now the British Empire. Of course, when they came into the slavery, right? When they were introduced, they came in with full vigor, right? John Hopkins, the good ship Jesus, Joseph, and Mary, right? John Hopkins alone extracted 2 million African people from the continent alone, right? So you can understand, of course, the reach of the British Empire. So when we have an African woman who Who's has the, the commander, title, commander of the order. Yes. And she got that in 2014. It don't matter. Most recent. Yes. It doesn't matter. It's beautiful. Wave your hand and let them all go ahead and bow in your gracefulness, dear. I love it. Yes. Order of Canada member. Yes. Queen's Privy Council for Canada member. Cool, yeah. <laughs> Honorary Doctor of Laws, University of Toronto. All right. Honorary Doctor of Laws, McGill University. Mm. Honorary Doctor, York University. Honorary Doctor, University of Guelph. Listen. Is that that's four? We went to that's five. No, that's four. That's so far, four. that's four. She's got a five, fifth one There's somewhere. There's a fifth one. I I, didn't, I don't have it here, but it's okay. <laughs> the Y Double C A Woman of Distinction Award. Wow. The K. Livingston Award, the Ontario Volunteer Award, the Pride Newspaper Achievement Award. I mean, what can you and say? And this is just some of the list. Yes, I mean, she's been a champion for human rights. She's been a champion for, of course, ed- fairness and education for all cultures. For all, for and all that's cultures. Thing. For, for all. all cultures. I'm going to say this. She, she, she did say for all, but I love the fact that she didn't say for all, and then how we've seen in the past, forget about her own. Right. She stayed in the trenches yes. and helped her people. Yes. So when we come back, we're going to share a little bit more. We'll share some pictures so you yeah. guys can see yes. um, about the Augustine experience, okay? And when we come back, we're also going to be talking about what's happening over with Hurricane, what's it called, Irma? Irma. We'll see you soon. All right. <laughs> Are you retiring smart? Make your home's equity work for you. With your home's equity and our 30 years of experience, the Retire Smart Properties team can help you achieve the quality of life you've always wanted. Our services are 360 degrees. We'll give you advice, take care of staging and selling, and help you find the perfect home and community to transition to. It's time to enjoy the retirement lifestyle you deserve. Visit our website today to learn how you can use your home to retire comfortably. The Retire Smart Properties Team, powered by Remax West. Welcome back to the Augustine Experience. Here, I'm here to help you. Yes. So one of the critiques, actually, before we go any further, one of the critiques that I've heard in the last couple of weeks from people, and you know what, I appreciate um, the feedback that I get from everyone who watches our show. Thank you. Um, again, Dave and I don't have egos. We're still new at this. We're still learning it. So any criticism is great criticism because we take it, we learn from it. Someone had mentioned something about us getting to the point. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know you were in your feelings when you heard it. No, I'm not in my feelings. Okay. So getting to the point, um, making sure that when we 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 have something to say, we say it, we say it, and move on. I guess I'm not too sure what they meant by that, but that's what I took from it. Just you know, say what we need to say. That's why I was like the Augustine experience, so people know what we're talking about. Okay. They're already there with us, right? I hope you're still here with us. I hope you're still here. I'm still here with you. <laughs> <laughs> so let us show. We have a couple of videos. Actually, and before we even do that, um, mm-hmm. we, as everybody sees, of course, the banner running through uh, at the bottom oh, there. Oh yes. We have to, of course, go ahead. Reference. Uh, we started. A, uh, sorry, the company here started a GoFundMe page here, of course, for the, the hurricane relief efforts for uh, all our brothers and sisters 
sisters in the islands who have been devastated by right? this, yes. Yeah, man. I mean, if you anybody you seen some any of the news reports, pictures, heard from anybody back home, by it means you know in regards to how it's impact. I guess there's been sorry to say this, I guess there's been a problem of trying to find um reliable places to to send money. Quite possibly. You know, it's which very is possible. why I think I think Grant did this, yes. which I think is awesome. So and now, if you weren't too sure where to, you know, send relief help to, look at the sh- on the little banner below us. Yes. You can click on there and buy me. It's GoFundMe Go fund forward me. slash care 101. You know, and send your donations. Um, I believe anything. I believe we're, we're, um, there is a list from regards to like items that you can go ahead and bring here as well. Um, so please go ahead, donate. You know, um, please. Hum- if it was us, we'd want it. Who but knows when we course. might need the help, right? You know, I, I met a brother earlier this morning when I was, of course, walking our, our lovely dog, right? And um, we were just having this conversation, especially with the relief efforts, and saying that, you know what? If it happened here, right, who would be here to go ahead and help us? Yes. Right? And by me, don't think about that sometimes. We're in a know? position, any one of us you that is in a position to go ahead and give, give freely, give with your heart, and by means, nothing is too small. Thank you very much for that. Thanks, Dave, for You're like. Welcome speaking on that i didn't forget but i wasn't too sure when we we're gonna do it so no worries no better time than the present all right so now we are going to let you guys come into the augustine experience a little bit and see kind of the things that we saw on saturday run yes. that clip for us Charles. Happy birthday so this is really liberty silver she's singing happy birthday i'm not sure if you, can they hear the volume they can hear the volume right and they can hear me talking i guess okay cool so i'll stop them that's a young lady, the, the young lady who attends our Gina Augustine in secondary school. So this is the Liberty Silver. She's singing "Happy Birthday." Of course, to Jean Augustine. Sorry, I, um, I mentioned Jean Augustine Secondary School. In fact, um, that young lady she attends um, one of Jean Augustine's youth empowerment camps. Okay. Right. All right. Thank you for the clip, Chelsea. We appreciate you. I'm glad you guys were able to see some of that. So again the Augustine experience. That was one of the things that we saw. You can put up some of the pictures now as well, and we can talk about some of the people who were there. It was hosted by Farley Flex. Yes. And Marcy Ian. Yes. Yes. Farley Flex from, from Maestro Days. Maestro Days. That's yes, right. That's, that's right. right. And there was some red carpet hosts too, Roderick Bren- Brereton okay. and Andrea Bain. Yes. So there was, a, I mean, that, the, the ice, the, the ice, ice culture. The ice culture, I yes. wanted to lick it. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> But then you know how your tongue gets stuck? You, what if you, my tongue got stuck you just to the want to be that person, right? To the zero at the end? <laughs> what if I was that person whose tongue got stuck on the 80th, uh, 80th birthday ice sculpture? You, you'd, yes, you'd be definitely remembered, I tell you that. And not for a good thing. Trish and Grant would never send us out again. And there's Dave and I beside him beside. That was right before my thought of licking the ice sculpture. Was it just, just before the thought or after? Just, just before. Just, oh, okay. And then I thought better of it. I see, I see. Right? All right. Um... The food, fantastic. Farley Flex? Yes, Farley Flex. And of course, Marcy to, to his right, our left. Yes, our left, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so let's stop here for a second. Okay, so I was jealous. This is the only time I was jealous throughout the whole day because this woman's shirt was better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Her is- shirt was gorgeous. It was a wonderful shirt. 
This is the petty type of things that. They... No, not petty. No, 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 not petty. I, I come on, I, I get. Come on, when we were introduced, I did let, let her know that. Listen, man. Yeah, he sure, did tell her he was jealous. Sure, he was hating her. Uh, no, not hating. Oh, come on, I was giving reference. That's where to take the picture, <laughs> right? Debbie <laughs> Douglas. That's Debbie Douglas from Ontario Commissionary. Uh, it's O C A S I. Something to do with immigration. I forgot all the initials, but look her up though. Debbie Douglas, oh. very, very well known in the community. And then now there's that picture that she put up, Chelsea. Chelsea. Yes, with Joseph Marcel. Marcel. Yes. yes. For those who remember <coughs> the Fresh Prince. There he is. There he is. Sorry, the video wasn't working. We tried it earlier, but it looks like, of course, we'll, we'll, we'll post this at another point in time. But his speech was was very humorous as well. Of course, it's right? Jeffrey. Of course, you know what I'm saying. He was Jeffrey to the T, <laughs> and I like the fact. You know what? Everyone was very personable. I like the fact that even with this experience, with Gene, the, with the Augustine experience, there was, you know what? It's not not as much pretension as I thought there was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie. People were very down to earth. Mm -hmm. um, they were very open. Gene. Oh, I think there's only one time where they were like, okay, you know what, kind yeah, of just leave, let Jean eat some food. Eat, because, yeah. of course, everyone wanted to just be around we her. Know, I mean, she was the matriarch of the day, right? So, I mean, you, you know how it goes, right? <coughs> um, the gentleman, of course, to our right, her left, um, that's the gentleman now who sits on the chair, the Jean Augustine chair at York University. Okay. Right? He was uh, elected, in fact, or selected last year for a five-year term, so... Once again, of course, the dinner was part of a fundraiser for part of the three million endowment to yes. ensure, of course, the chair stays where it needs to be. And it's for our future students, of course, so exactly. they have um, fairness. It's fair. And equal it, opportunity. Yeah, opportunity to archives and a whole bunch of things. research, so research, right. everything. The whole nine. Um, they did some really good things with fundraising. They had a um, silent auction. Silent auction, which, which is really, really. I cool. did not bet loudly or nor silently. I did, and I lost. They did a raffle, a and draw. I lost that too. What can we say? At least we gave our part. Yes, we did. We did. Uh, we did assist with the fundraising, <laughs> but I lost. I was very upset about for that. For sure, for sure. But the lunch was great. Like, I mean, everything about this event was wonderful. And when she spoke, oh man, when it was her time to speak, um, first of all, again, what I love about this woman is she commands. She commands. She commands her audience. Yes. She has such a presence. Before she started speaking, she said, I am not going to speak until everyone stops talking. Well, I found that um, <laughs> parts of when um, people were coming up and paying their respects that some of the audience members weren't, of course, giving their respect to everybody no, as well. No, no. Right? Um, I found that part probably a little bit um, disheartening. Right? Yeah. Considering that, of yeah. course, you know what? I mean, it is a it was a lengthy, very lengthy afternoon. It was about four and a half to five hours. Right? So, I mean, it, it's pretty hard to go in and sit still you know if not of course to mingle at least mingle quietly right as well right right so, right you know but she goes. again she commanded it and she deserved it yes and her speech obviously Cap David she spoke for maybe about 20 20 minutes or so about that um about 20 minutes? we will put up clips in regards of course her speech later um I have about seven minutes of it but by means of course it's it's a wonderful thing plus we forgot to mention there was a surprise there was an excellent excellent surprise oh can we show the Danny Glover? Danny Glover was in town this weekend. Uh, big up to Miss Gwen Chapman. Yes. Thank you for bringing him. Gwen Chapman and Danny Glover.
so much work for all of us to do. So we got Danny Glover here, of course, here, expressing his here, words who to who the great Gene Augustine. And he spoke a little bit later that night, too. Yeah, um, we, we was at an event later on in the, in the evening there. But we had a chance to go and attend to it downtown. Yes, yes. So and anybody who has who has not had the chance to hear Danny Glover speak, hear him out. This man has a, a lifetime of experience as well that it just needs to be heard. That's what you heard from a first source from himself. Yes, it was. It was uh, quite a week. Quite a weekend, quite a weekend, I must say. Quite a weekend. Yes. So um, for those who don't know, I'm sure many of you already do know about who she is, I would definitely recommend um, everyone, parents, teach, your, teach, especially our younger women, teach them about who Jean Augustine is. Like mm -hmm. That is one of the most empowering situations I think I've ever been in. Okay. And I'm happy. Thank you again, Brandy, for inviting us to yes. come. It was awesome. When we get back, we'll be having Mr. Carl Hutchinson. See you guys soon. Discover the incredible India. Think you have what it takes to bring value to the community? The TCN TV network is expanding and now accepting TV show proposals. Here's an opportunity to build celebrity status and become part of an elite group of community advocates that are focused on building, strengthening, and empowering our community in a positive way. Are you interested in embarking on a new adventure? TCN TV is searching for people interested in opportunities to change the conversation and pave an unforgettable legacy. If you feel you have something of value to offer, send a written show proposal to shows at mytcntv.com. Let's make sure I'm still in frame. Hi, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. So we've added a person. Yes. We've yeah. added a person. He came out of nowhere. He's here now. We have Mr. Carl Hutchinson. Yes. And today I'm going to let him take the floor because there's, a, there's things I want to speak about that I know mm -hmm. about you. Mm -hmm. But what better than to let the man speak for himself? Well, Mr. Carl Hutchinson, first of all, welcome. Welcome. Thank we don't you, have a clap you. button, so we do it so, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, right. That's all right. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. So tell us, first of all, because mm -hmm. we have some exciting things that are happening with you mm -hmm. um, coming up, things you've done before. But let us know. Tell the audience, for those who may not know about you, who is Carl Hutchinson? Well, Carl Hutchinson loves to write. This and I, I love know. to work <laughs> with the community okay. using our young people young Afro-Caribbean, West Indian, or Afro-Caribbeans, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, working with them to use their skills, giving them an opportunity to be able to present their talents in a public, okay. in, publicly, I should say. And um, I've been doing that for about 20 years or more. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just aged yourself, so you're like, what, 32? Yeah, I know, 32? I know. About 33, 33. I'll perfect. Perfect. Myself perfect. Uh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, your love is writing, mm -hmm. and I know that. Tell us, okay, when did you realize you were a writer? Because I don't know how quickly huh. that happens for people. Right. It's interesting because I always wrote and I put it in the shoebox. Okay. You know, one of those um, closet writers. You put it away and you wanted to make sure that nobody looked at it because you weren't too sure too if sure. it was good enough. You know what I mean? You of wanted course. something that was solid. <laughs> That's right. And then my mother said to me one day, why are you doing that? Why don't you just get, take yourself, your stuff out there and put it out there. Take a chance. And so I did, started taking chances, and people started liking it, and I thought, hey, this is good. All right. Wow, I'm on to something. felt a little bit good, and I good. said, hey, I like this. I can get more of this. <laughs> All right, so I started writing a little bit more and uh, got juiced, so to speak. <laughs> there you go. Very, very nice. And, uh, and went along for the ride. And, Excellent. And the rest is history, as the old saying goes. Okay, yeah. so tell us. Share mm -hmm. some of your history. Some of the history. We've written... Um, Productions like God Must Be Laughing. Okay. Soul for the Lord, Buddy for Myself. Many people in Toronto have gone to see a lot of these shows. Okay. I, I've 
focus mainly on comedy and uh, issues that are sensitive, issues that need to be addressed, issues that will evoke some uh, the, our senses, so to speak. Okay. Uh, I don't just like to just put stuff out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to make sure that, it's, that the content is rich, the content addresses a, a particular issue that we're dealing with at the time. Right now, this particular production we're working on is Bullies. It's a, it's a sequence of uh, production dealing with the subject of bullying. And uh, this one is called Bullies, Bullies 2, Business as Usual. Business as Usual. Yeah. Business right. as Usual. Business as Usual. <laughs> wow. I'm curious about Bullies 1. Yeah. You're going to have to yeah. talk yeah. about yeah. Bullies 1. We'll yes. talk about that. We'll All talk right. about that. Uh, but just to give you a gist of bill Bullies 2, what it does in this particular um, setting, it takes young kids ages 10 to 13, and it puts them in an environment where they're running a business. And so okay. what they're doing is they're enacting a lot of the things that they realize from their parents. Mm. And what they're doing now is they, they're reflecting on what parents actually taught them uh, in their growing years. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's very so powerful. a lot of things come out that you really don't expect to come out because what they're doing is mimicking their, the they behavior see. of adults. Wow. So Interesting. So that okay. bullying behavior that we think is innate or that comes directly from them, not necessarily so. It's a learned behavior. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. I can definitely say and test <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> it's sometimes, no, um, Dave and I, we work in the community with children as well. Right. And it's interesting that you say that because uh, sometimes we'll have parents who will complain about certain attributes mm -hmm. about the children. <laughs> yes, and, 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 and once, we, like, it. once we and go into like, the home. Mm -hmm. You see it, it reenacted. Oh, yeah. my goodness. And I'm it's like, real. It's real. <laughs> I see yeah. what you're talking about now. Yeah. I can yeah. see why you may not like that, you yeah, know? Right. <laughs> but, okay, so with your writing, uh -huh. um, uh, and you said you said you started to get the accolade. You start to feel the juice. Mm -hmm. Was there any time that you were discouraged? Of course, of course. Tell I, me about those times when you were discouraged. Fact, I can think back to one particular time when I wrote a piece that was in great. And this, so I have this message for a lot of young kids who enjoy whatever craft they have, mm -hmm. and someone discourages them. I had a grade ten teacher, as a matter of fact, who at the time said to me, uh, "I wrote a piece. He asked me to write a piece, and he wanted us to write on something that we felt really strongly about. I wrote this piece, and he didn't like the piece." Uh, because he didn't like the subject matter. And so he said, is this the garbage you're going to write? And he made me feel oh. like this small. Wow. And I went home and I told my mother about it. And mm. my mother being the biggest supporter mm. in our West Indian, my mother. Yeah. Yes. Powerful, yes. Yes. yes, they are. Some powerful people. And uh, she being the supporter that she is, she says, you look, you listen to it. What you wrote was wonderful. I think it's great. If he doesn't like it, tough on him. We'll work this through. Mm. And with that encouragement, I continued writing. Wow. Yeah. I love it. There were other pieces. There was one piece. The first major piece that I wrote was called um, uh, It's My Baby Now. And that dealt with a subject matter that a lot of people don't like talking much about. And that is incest. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it dealt with, or should I say fortunately, it dealt with a, um, a particular stepfather who had some activities with his, uh, with his daughter that he shouldn't have. Okay. With his stepdaughter. And... Um, when I came out, that, that, that show was so powerful and so impactful that a lot of people really felt uncomfortable. Of it was course. an uneasy feeling. Of mm -hmm. course. But what we did was we had counselors standing by just in case. That's awesome. That's a beautiful right. idea. We had counselors standing beautiful, by. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. And um, one gentleman came up to me after the show and he said, I came to enjoy myself. I enjoyed it, but I didn't have to see that. I didn't want to have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. said, well, you know, uh, the, the, the idea came to me from a young woman who wanted us to address that Subjects issue that yeah. actually dealt with people's lives and gave them, given them the opportunity to heal and given them the opportunity to be able to, to move on. Mm -hmm. And this was her way of uh, asking that we deal with this type of uh, issue. That's amazing. Yeah. You know what, like, um, of course, we've touched on certain subjects, like, on um, the last few weeks, we did, of course, like, comic superheroes, right? Mm -hmm. And we said that, of course, art imitates life, right. right? And how powerful and impactful that could be, of course, from just turning those simple pages. Yeah. But now, of course, seeing a play like this now, mm -hmm has my mind going. It's like, my guys are like, I wonder how powerful and how impactful. To see that on, right. to see that acted out live. So yes. have you ever had like for any type of, um, I guess, audience, audience response coming back to, especially a play like this now, mm -hmm. where you know what, I've seen something like this or I've heard families who've gone through something like this, right? And yeah. knowing that something like this is out there really assists in the healing process. Yes, as a matter of fact, we've had quite a few individuals. This, uh, I remember this one woman in particular who came to me tears running down her cheeks and she said to me thank you thank you thank you for doing um, that particular piece mm. uh, because you really brought healing to me and you also raised it to the surface whereby we now can go and get further healing so a lot of times people 
don't take the necessary steps because they don't think it's necessary for them. Right. Yes. And the meanwhile, they suffer in silence. Mm. Uh, and, and too often, especially in our community, yes. it's taboo to talk about, about these certain things. things oh, yeah. It's oh taboo to bring it to the forefront yeah. because we've been schooled to believe that if we do it, that it's a sign of weakness. Right. That's right. Unfortunately. Yes. Uh, so we live and we suffer with a lot of this pain on the inside and we don't really get a chance to ever deal with it. Right. And, and we see it manifested in so many other ways and we refuse to still deal with it, even though our community is dying because of because it. Because mm. of it. Yeah. Very, very strong work that you do. So mm. what drives, like what, you get up and you're like, okay, yeah. what sparks you sometimes? <laughs> what is that? What is that spark? Because I know what, it's, I'm a writer, so I know, it, sometimes yeah. it's like, it's nothing. It's like flatline. Yes. And then it's just like, yeah. that yeah. jump yeah. on the monitor. That, that, that peak that just hits. <laughs> it hits you like, oh. Yeah. Got well, it. <laughs> I, I consider myself, I tell people this, I have, I have a good friend, Royce and James, who, who um, mentored me for a while, and we, have, you know, we, we can went to school together, I, I can, I'm aging myself. <laughs> 33. <laughs> 33, 33, everybody. 33. Yeah, and, um, you know, one of the things that I, I learned uh, as far as writing is concerned, I became more of a reporter than a writer, a creative writer. Okay. And what that means is the fact that I didn't try to write stuff. A lot of times, as creative writers, what you do is you try to write stuff. Mm -hmm. You sit there and you say, I want something to come, and you try to make something happen, right. as opposed to just sitting there and report what you see. Mm -hmm. I'm so fortunate in that I happen to have the best seat in the house, in that I'm able to watch this story unfold in my head and then just report on it. Uh, so I don't only really see myself as a writer, I see myself as a reporter. Right. So when I sit back to do a piece, I say, okay, God, because I use him for my inspiration. There you go. Right, tell me what you want, all right? And I let the story unfold. And a lot of times, it's not necessarily anything of a spiritual realm or anything of that nature. Mm. And at times, nine times out of ten, it's just dealing with life. It's just dealing with issues that we address on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And it's just giving me a format or, or a platform by which I can actually present this information. Mm. Right. So the idea is, for example, when we did uh, God Must Be Laughing, God must, must Be Laughing dealt with different um, relationship issues, relationship issues like homosexuality. Okay. You know, it, de it dealt with um, the fact that there's this uh, gentleman who um, thought he was the head of his home, but really wasn't the head of his home because the home was really w being run by his wife. Oh, boy. All right? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you must want to get yourself in trouble. Big trouble. Big trouble. Big trouble. Big trouble. People are just sitting in the audience <laughs> like... Yeah. Yeah, bring it on, boy. Bring it on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it, it's fun though. It's fun though because I like to write stuff that get pe that gets people thinking. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't just like to just put stuff. As I stated in my opening, I don't just like to put stuff out there just because it's stuff. Yeah. yeah. A, a lot of people already do that. Yeah. They don't need another one. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. People are at the point right now where they want to see something that's going to evoke certain emotions evoke certain thoughts, mm. evoke certain ideology, uh, uh, concepts, so that they can now take it to the next level. Move to right. action. They want to move to move action. To yeah. action. That's move to action. That's that next step. this is what this whole bullies too is all about. Too. I'm using these kids, and they're from all different walks of life. Okay. Right? All different levels of talent. I mean, there's no superstar there, but there's some good actors. <laughs> some really good actors, some young ones. I mean, awesome. They're all ages 10 to 13. And they use this, uh, I'm, I'm working with them to use their skill to be able to deal with a subject matter that they themselves won't even show how to deal with. Mm. And now they're addressing certain items or certain issues that they're learning from this whole experience and going, wow, I didn't realize that it impacted people this way. Right. Uh, as a matter of fact, when we had our last uh, our dress rehearsal, which was last Sunday, gone, uh, a lot of them came out and they said, you know, I didn't really understand this play until now. Mm. Now I fully understand it. So, you know, that the light went off. Learned. Yeah, you got right. it. That's Excellent. awesome. So we are, I don't want to go into anything heavy because we only mm -hmm. have about a minute left in this segment. Right. But when we do come back, so I want to hold this up. I posted on my Facebook as well as on my LinkedIn pages mm -hmm. um, the link straight to the tickets for this as long as well with um, your organization, which we're going to talk to, talk right, about, right. okay? Take your productions. We're going to yeah. take it there mm -hmm. in a second. Yeah. But I want to hold this up. And I'm taking this. Okay. <laughs> We're blocking him for a second. That's okay. That's okay. We'll leave two. Business as usual. Yeah. And it is playing. If you don't see this again, you can see it on our Facebook. And we're going to put it up after as well so you guys can find it. So it's two shows, Sunday, September 17th, 
from two uh, one at two thirty, and there's one at five o'clock p.m. as well. So there's two opportunities to see this. When we get back, we'll speak, speak more to Carl Hutchinson. I haven't talked again. Jeez, we'll be back in a few moments. <laughs> <laughs> Discover the incredible India. Welcome back, everyone. I can talk again. See, I cleared the throat out. You cleared your throat. Everything's yeah. good. I'm not stammering over words anymore. Please don't. We are here <laughs> with the. I, I want to. I feel like I should give you a title. Whoa. Yeah. Mm, go ahead. You've done a lot, sir. Yeah. Well, you can't downplay your efforts. You've, you've yeah. done. And you know what I find? This is mm. what I love. Like, we were speaking about the Augustine experience. She's right. another yeah, wonderful, oh, she's a woman. wonderful woman. Oh man, I tell you, did a presentation for her just recently, as a matter of fact. Oh, somewhere. beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. We were we were able to. We were invited. In, thankful again to you guys they invited us to the 80th birthday party right and yeah. i mean the people who have done the most for some reason seem to be the most humble mm. they're the ones who are like uh oh, i haven't really done anything i'm just here working and i'm like you have like eight honorary doctorates that's not just <laughs> <laughs> like, you've written like hold on <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> i'm counting at least 10 plays Oh, something like that is that. Yeah, nice. you see, yeah. <laughs> something like that. The the uh, people who have done the most are the ones who are the most humble. So thank you, of course, for like bringing a lot of this to our community because you know what, hmm. like we need it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Our community out of out of all. Oh, where are you? Sorry, what's your Caribbean? Trinidad. All right. My yeah. parents love Trinidad. Is there a <laughs> <laughs> My parents are there every year for three oh, months. They oh, love okay. it, you see? Yeah. Just a little bit they too like much kidnap. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like the kidnapping. They don't like the kidnapping. <laughs> I, don't think don't like I don't think too many people are crazy about that either. Yeah. That part they're not That's not high on the list. No, no it's, it's a little bit lower, but they love the food. Oh, yeah. oh Lord. But no, um, we want to thank you for that because it's mm. it's not often that these things are addressed. Um, right. I'm very much a mental health ad advocate, and right. for me, I know the importance of that. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we need to address these things because yeah. that becomes transgenerational. A lot oh, of this yes trauma yeah. Yeah. just yeah. perpetuates, yes, and it, it keeps moving. And yeah. sometimes a lot of us are walking around doing things mm -hmm. unconsciously, yep. existing, We're yes, existing in yes. the frame, so yes. to speak, exactly, yeah. and not understanding why we are the way we are right. and why we act the way we act. So bringing this to light and putting it in front of people so they can't right. deny what they're seeing mm -hmm. is awesome. I yeah. commend you, sir. Thank you very much for that. No, not a problem Thank you. It's so a pleasure, actually. It's an opportunity for me. Tell us, because mm -hmm. I'm going to start picking your brain now. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you may not want to disclose all the information, yeah. but Bullies <laughs> too. Uh -huh. Give us a little bit of a, like a, a snippet of something we might see. That, okay. what, can, what can people look forward to when they come to this play? Well, you have um, what I've done with this cast. It's a little bit different. A little bit suicidal, but I did it. We did um, two different casts. So mm -hmm. we have one cast putting on the show at 2.30, and another cast putting it on at 5 o'clock. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. so two so completely different casts. Two completely different casts. Wow. wow. And I did that because I wanted to include as many of our children as possible. Uh, when I did the auditions, we had so many kids auditioning that I thought it was going to reject so many children that I didn't want to reject that many. Right. So I wanted to be more inclusive than anything else. That's awesome. Um, That's really good. So we had a, we had enough talent there to be able to put cat, two casts together. So it's two casts of ten, uh, one doing the two thirty show and the other doing the five o'clock show. That's excellent. Yeah. 
But how and, difficult um, was that? Oh I'll tell you. my when goodness. I took a week, one of the things that I always do every year is I take a week off my work and I dedicate it to the kids. So I do a camp. Okay. So I had a camp um, in the East and um, it was focused on really drama, it was focused on presentation skills, mm. it was focused on how we communicate best, things mm. of that nature. To help them hone in on their craft and you know get sharper on their skills right. and ensure that they do the right things when they get on stage. So that made a major leap. That's cool. Forward. Prior and preparation awesome. prevents oh, yeah. poor performance. You got it. Love yeah. it. Does it the five P's? The five P's they of life. It. I always P's. say them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So they, they that work. Um, just to answer your question a little bit further, as far as some of the things that we expect to see. Uh, what you're going to see is kids singing. You're going to see some dance. As a matter of fact, one of the dance pieces, or the, the key dance piece that's in there, a um, bit of ballet, a bit of jazz mixed in with it. Two young kids, their ages 11 and 12, they choreographed the whole thing. Oh, wow. All right. So I, I challenged that. them. What I did was we, I wrote a, uh, this piece, this song, um, and um, my nephew, uh, I believe you've seen him around, Aaron, uh, Aaron Manswell, Okay. He actually um, did the music behind it. And okay. I have another young all man, right. Jonathan Martin. And the whole band, by the way, I'll talk about them in a second. They're all ages 16, 17. Awesome. I use young band. Beautiful. All right? Beautiful. And so they're youth. all top-notch musicians. Yeah. Youth. I right? love it. Yes. You're not seeing them on front of... Anyhow, let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. People all like right. to focus on the negative. You know, That's and, and, right. And I, I want to be able to see the media, and I want to see a lot of the different coverages for young people when they're doing these great, great things. things. Yes. Right? Yes. So um, you're going to see all the music in this production is all original music, right? Written mm -hmm. by either myself or in co collaboration with some of the, the young artists, mm -hmm. along with um, some fantastic acting. There are a couple of scenes that I just can't wait to see it unfold on stage again and again and again and again. Right. Because these kids do such a fantastic job awesome. in this particular scene. So you're going to get some great acting. There's one young lady that I I'm trying not to mention too many names in individually simply because of the fact that I don't want to leave anybody out. I understand the oh, fairness. Right. But there are some young ladies and some young men in this production that are so good <laughs> mm -hmm. that you're going to be in awe of them. Beautiful. And they're singing, and as far as their um, ability to be able to um, get engaged in, in, the, in the piece. Right. Mm -hmm. So all in all, um, mm -hmm. well, course, between both performances, how many children in 20, total? 20, 20, 20 children. 20 children, 20 children uh -huh. and uh, five band members. Five band members. Yeah. Okay. And how long, of course, a production like this, how long did it take for everything pretty much to get to this point well, now? Um, it, it, from writing to... Well, let's go with, of course, after the writing part, and now uh, you know yeah. what, you're casting, of course, and I'm trying yes. to put everything all together. It takes about six to eight months. Six to eight months. Yeah, six to eight months. That's a lot of patience. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah it's a lot of work. And then included in that is one week of, um, of camp. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. So it, it's, it's work. I mean, uh, this is why I like people to be able to appreciate the effort that goes yes. into something of this nature. Mm -hmm. And so when they see a price of $30, understand why it's $30 <laughs> and yeah. stuff. Uh, can we do have children prices? Can we get a 50% discount? Oh, I'm on. sorry. Please. I'm sorry. On behalf of the community, <laughs> this is just us. We always want some type oh, yeah. of discount. We want and it's a like, break. Like, <laughs> like, it's, it's true. It's so true. But and, and on the flip side, though, right? what we need to understand as a community is that yeah. what has worked Worth, right. Pay it. Pay it. Exactly. Right? Pay because it. women going out there and go pay, of course, to the Mercedes Benz. And, oh, of course, the yeah. dealership is saying, hey, listen, we want 75 this grand. Yeah. This is the price. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. by means, when we have our own... Support it. Support. Of course, support it. Means, support we it. always talk about that. Just yeah. support. It doesn't matter. I'm sure, again, with all this work, you're right. Mm. $30? Yeah, it's people spend more than that at Caravana? Well, a lot of people <laughs> come back to me after and say, why sure. did you charge $30? You should charge $50. You should charge $60. You know? I said, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to be as inclusive as possible. Absolutely. Right. I'm not trying to do this to make money. No. I have my day job. Mm. I have my regular job. Mm. I try to help as many kids as possible. Part of this whole initiative is to really, some of these kids that are going to private schools or some of these kids that need assistance mm. with poor parents are struggling right is to give a little bit back to them to help yes. them beautiful all right so that's beautiful. really where a lot of some oh is that's going. wonderful our young musicians we have young one i don't want to give it with a surprise but we have one young musician um who had a little bit of a, a dilemma all right and we what we did was one of our guys came to me and he said hey carl what can we do for this guy so mm -hmm. we put something together mm -hmm. uh, on behalf of him and we want to surprise him with a night off oh sweet right? but that's beautiful that's yes. good so that's there's going good. to be like almost like a yeah, a presentation at the end yeah, of this. So yeah, one of our a young really guys, good uh, surprise yes, for somebody. Yes. yes that if any of them are watching it, they're gonna be like, Oh my god, what does it mean? 
<laughs> well, I'll narrow it down to so it's one of your mu- oh, musicians. You're one of the musicians. All right. Right. Musicians, yeah. So I'm going to send this out later, and then you can send it out, and they'll all be sitting there thinking about who it could possibly be. <laughs> so now I'm going to call you out, because we only have three minutes left. Sure. In my research, yes. uh-huh. I'm going to read directly what it says. Uh. Directly after delivery of Bullies 2... Carl will be working on his next production. Right. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A comical piece addressing the challenges many face. I want to hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> what piece is this? Oh uh, goodness! Well, I'm trying to give not try not to give away too much of it. Okay. It, it's it's put it this way. It's based on relationships. And it's based on the challenge that many of us face today in that. You know, you have that young person in the house that never leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I was that young person in the house who never left. We all go through it to some extent. <laughs> that was a trigger that. point for me. <laughs> 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 you know, and, um, and if you notice, that's what's happening in, in, in the last few years. Because of housing prices and mm. because of the state of the economy and because of all the changing uh, situations that are happening around us, I, our young people are not leaving as the they once did. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because financially they're not able to do so. Right. But there also comes with that other <laughs> complications. Other yes. Com- <laughs> other comical opportunities. <laughs> do you need an actress for this? Because <laughs> I can do this naturally. Two men can't dwell in the same house. No, you know what I mean? No, You've heard that. No, two bulls. They, they, they cannot be in the same pen. pen. Same pen. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a lot of that that comes out in this particular production. That is oh, boy. so uh, cool. Because it deals, with, again, with current issues, mm-hmm. another current issue. And, and it actually gives us some guidance as to how we can actually handle those those complicated situations Wonderful. when we come up against it. That's good. So it's not just a matter of highlighting and raising awareness to really what's happening and, and getting people together. Hmm, you better get out. No. <laughs> 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 we don't want to do that. We want to say, okay, okay, chill out, chill out. <laughs> right. yeah, Everybody's going to get kicked out of their house after right. <laughs> And it's all Carl's fault. All my fault. People are going to be blaming me. People are going to be yeah. saying, Hutchison, yeah. Hutchison. <laughs> The yes. major gap. The oldest generation be saying, yes, that's our boy. And the yeah. young generation say, oh, wait, wait, wait exactly. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm waiting. Look, why are you going to bring this up for him? Everything was cool at home. Exactly. Oh, exactly. That's awesome. So yeah. do you have a name for the play yet? Have, um, no. You don't want to give it no. a name? He not has give it. it as yet. He's not going to give it, but he does yet. have it. But as a matter of fact, my editor pulled it out when, when she saw it in there. She said, mm-mm. No, mm-mm, not, not, not yet. yet. Not, not yet. Editor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I want to find out anyhow. Yeah. But um, in our last um, little bit, yeah. uh, again, is there anything else you'd like to say about this play? What mm. else do you want to tell people? What should people know? Why? And not why. Mm. I'm not going to say why should they come here because they need to go there. Right. What are people going to get from this? What besides the dancing and the singing? What are they right. going to take? They're going to take from it is that the fact that. Um, we must be mindful of our actions. We must be mindful of what we say. Not only that, they're going to get a really high level of entertainment value from it. Mm-hmm. So it's not just a matter of beating you over the head with a message. That's not what it's going to be all about at all, as a matter of fact. Okay. There's a high entertainment value because you're going to see kids who are really talented, um, feeling at home in their craft, mm-hmm. and you're also going to get a message. Uh, again, um, my focus is on entertainment with a message. Yes, it's awesome. Right? Uh, ensuring that we get something that's solid at the end of the night. That's yeah. incredible. So again, I'm gonna hold it up and cover yeah. his face again. Yeah, cover Half of you guys are mad at him anyhow, anyhow, yeah. the relationship <laughs> stuff. So, <laughs> bullies too. That's and right. again, this is going to be posted on my Facebook. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send this to Chelsea as our thumbnail. Yeah. She can put this up put as this our up. thumbnail. Plus, the ad is also in the latest paper. paper. Oh, that's page right. 13. That's right. Page wow. 13. Yeah. That's wow. right. It's yeah. in the paper. Hold on. Let me pull up. The, I don't have time to put paper. Yeah. Pick up their, their latest. And Marcy Yates, my big supporter. She's on there with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much, right. Mr. Hutchinson. No we appreciate you. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. We'll do. Everybody, thank you for joining us here on Here to Help. You will see you next week. Peace and love, family. Shut up. All right.